Hello everyone! How's it going? Thank you for joining us today on our first live virtual tour of Heritage Hall. I'm Allie Geist, the uh, Marketing Director at the Stormont Vale Event Center. This is Bree Berggren. She is the Convention Sales Manager and also handles the booking of Ag Hall and Heritage Hall as well as our other venues too. But she has all of the answers that you're looking for if you're looking to uh, rent this facility. So we are going to take a quick tour uh, guided by yours truly, Bree. Um, let me turn this around. And it was convenient timing that we picked the exact time that they're testing the tornado siren. Um, Cindy has a question. Is September 26th available? I believe we have, um, if you look in the description of the event, we have all of the available dates listed. Yes. Um, so if you're interested in one or have a question, um, just reach out to us. Yeah, and if you're asking about 2021 too, go for it. Um, just make sure that we know which year so I can check the calendar for you guys. So we're going to start here in the main space. Um, space is 7,000 square feet original limestone it's almost a hundred years old at this point uh, so it's got a lot of history and it's just beautiful we can we can fit up to 380 guests in here with our banquet tables about 2 250 240 with our round tables that seat 10 so you can do a lot with the space it has beautiful stained glass windows with the sunflowers which are a little hard to see in this video but if you see them in person they're gorgeous. They are. There's a little bit better view. There's electrical all through the space, even in the front and the back uh, where we are currently. So we can put up lighting for events or we can put a band or a DJ over here, light up anything you need. Um, tons of electricity, catering access to. Let's go up to the stage. Yeah, so the stage is actually a really fun thing. Uh, people like to do their head tables or just uh, their main tables on the stage. What's this beautiful color changing lighting? So those were our LED lights on the ceiling. Uh, you can't really tell right now because it's during the day, but at night it creates this awesome kind of dance party atmosphere, which is really, really fun. And it does come with a building and we can change colors. We can have one color. I've got them running on all the colors right now just because it's a little more fun. So that's not an extra charge, it's included, right? It is included, yes. Very cool. And also, we just wanted to remind everybody that if you do comment in with a question, um, you are going to be eligible to win this adorable little prize pack with uh, Mr. and Mrs. mugs and koozies and little cake boxes. Super cute. While we're up on the stage, we do have rope lighting around each of our big arch windows, uh, which is always nice too. That's beautiful ambiance. Mm -hmm. All right, should we go backstage? Yeah, we're go backstage. Not a lot of people come back here, so this is very exciting. <laughs> so this is our backstage area. It's connected to actually both bathrooms, uh, so you guys can canoodle if you need to for a second. We also do have green rooms, which is what I call them in the back, where you can change, you can put extra storage, you can kind of use it how you want to. So we'll go look at that one. Go look at one of the green rooms. on the floor. <laughs> Beautiful vanity mirror. Yeah, the vanities back here, um, like I said, you guys can use it for changing extra storage, kind of how you guys want to use it. It's just an extra space that's available when you rent the space. 
get ready with all your bridesmaids and groomsmen. And they're just, there's a matching one on the other side of the stage mm -hmm. so that all your parties can get ready separately, but also close. Yes, it's all connected. We're gonna go through the men's now. You've also got the historic stone in here. Very pretty. Pretty as far as bathrooms go. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's nice colors. And then right by the men's bathroom is our kitchen. Uh, it is a full service kitchen. I will say it's a, about the size of my first apartment, <laughs> but it is absolutely usable. We've got a microwave and sinkerator, tons of storage. Um, a lot of times the caterers, caterers, I guess, overrun the space, but we can use it as a bar. Our rolling window does come up, so we can use it as a food line or as your bar or just cover it with pipe and drape and you don't even see it. Yeah, so. Very useful space. Mm -hmm. And then you're back to the main space. Women's is on the other side. Um, obviously we've got both bathrooms. Do we want to talk about the yeah. tables and chairs? So we set up some tables to kind of show you the seating that we can do. This is our round table. Uh, it seats 10 and these are the chairs that you get. You're more than welcome to, you know, cover them if you don't want, but they're pretty neutral brown and they go with pretty much everything. And they're padded. Yeah. Um, like I said, we can fit about 24, 25 of these in the space and that leaves room for pet tables and anything extra that you guys want to do. Um, and Cindy's got a question. Do you require a licensed catering? We do not. You can bring in whatever you want, food and beverage wise. You can do it yourself. Uh, you can use, you know, an outside caterer. You can use a hotel, which I'm sorry. So we don't have a, a licensed thing. Yeah. The hotel is right over there. Mm -hmm. So if you do use the Capitol Plaza Hotel for catering, they can pop it over here and keep it real fresh and everything. Yes. And they do a great job. They do a great job. And their food selections are fantastic. Cindy loves that. Yeah. You're welcome, Cindy. Thanks for asking. <laughs> and we can fit a lot of these in the space. We can do long lines. We can do just singles. Um, it's kind of up to you how you guys want to do your layout in, in the spare time. And if you do look on our website, StormontValeEventCenter.com, and then hover over the Venues tab and click on Weddings, um, there's a bunch of different seating chart options um, that you can check out. Yeah, and we can pretty much do anything. We can You can work with our events department and kind of fine tune it to what you guys need. So you don't have to pick something that we've already done before. Very customizable. Yeah. Our favorite part <laughs> about Heritage Hall is of course the gazebo. Yes. Where you can host your ceremony. Yeah, it's a great place for an outdoor ceremony if that's what you guys wanna do. Um, obviously we have an aisle already straight to the gazebo. We can fit a hundred chairs on each side if you guys want. Uh, it is an extra charge for the chairs outside, just so you guys know. Um, but you guys can bring in your own if you want. You can bring hay bales, you can do standing room. You can put arches up and all that fun stuff. Line it with pillars if you want. So. And all of these lights outside are dimmable. They're on technically a timer, so when dust kind of hits, they turn on, which is really nice. Yeah, let's look at these awesome lights. They're very classic and like yeah. vintage. They're semi new. They're semi new. Yeah. A few years now. <laughs> and then obviously the gazebo. <laughs> it's got a beautiful gazebo. You can get married inside or just up the stairs. We've done both. You can use it as just a hangout for your guests. Um, it's just a good space. right now <laughs> <laughs> all right well let's go ahead and go through some of the FAQs um, so fee feel free to comment in within your questions and we'll go ahead and jump to those two and if you do comment with a question you'll be entered to win that um, prize basket with the his and hers sorry mr. and mrs. mugs and koozies so be sure to do that um, let's start with the first FAQ 
Um, will the hall accommodate all my guests comfortably? So how many guests can you fit in Heritage Hall? So like I said, with the rectangle banquet tables, we can fit 380, which is pretty comfortable. Um, we've done 400, but it gets a little tight. It's just the spacing around the chairs and the tables. We want to make everybody comfortable and not have them squish in. So, um, like, I mean, we're pretty open about the layouts and what we can do. It's just making sure all the guests are comfortable. Wonderful. And while we're at it, um, how many guests does Ag Hall? In case people have a bigger party, Ag Hall's right over there. Ag Hall can accommodate a lot of people. So, uh, 800 to 1,000, depending on what you guys are trying to do, how big your dance floor wants to be. I mean, we can accommodate a lot of people in Ag Hall. Perfect. So, 800 to 1,000 in Ag Hall. Yeah. So, that's a big wedding. Yeah. <laughs> um, and about 350, you said, for Heritage? 350, Perfect. Um, does the venue have adequate parking and does it include handicap parking? Where is it? We do. We've got a parking lot actually just straight ahead. It's obviously empty right now, um, but we've got more than enough parking. We have tons of ADA parking. We do have an ADA ramp that leads into Heritage too. Everything is accessible for everyone. Uh, even the gazebo, we do have a ramp. So um, let's check out that ramp. Yeah. And then if we need other run parking, we do have the hotel, which is just right over there, where we can use some if we need to. It's pretty close, so. Awesome. Yeah. Um, how much per chair for the outside ceremony? They're a dollar each. Not bad. Mm -mm. Which is okay. pretty normal. Let's see. Let's go to what about the restrooms? So we have both men's and women's, obviously. Um, they're, they're small for the space, but I mean, we've got two urinals in the stall and the men's and three stalls in the women's. Seems to work out pretty good. Awesome. Um, what size is the dance floor? You know, the dance floor can be as big as you want it. If you've got 50 people coming to your reception and you want it to be the entirety of the space, that's what you want. <laughs> that's what you get. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, do you have a sound system in the building? We do have a sound system. Um, you can hook up to it. We've got a gator box that allows you to use a laptop if you don't use a band or a DJ. Uh, it's got a wireless mic so you guys can make announcements or do what you need to do and it does come with a rental of the building. Alright, um, very important question. Do you provide security? We do provide security. That's in the package rates that we have. Uh, you get two of our security guards, the vet staff. Alright, um, are there changing tables in the bathrooms? That's a question from Callie. Thanks Callie. I think we do have one in the women's but not in the men's. Um, unfortunate, but yes, we do have availability for those. Very cool. Um, how many electrical outlets are available for entertainment? I mean, there's there's electrical pretty much across the back of our building and then obviously up by our sound system, which is where most people are going to hook into. Um, we've got more than, more than enough electrical available for you guys to do pretty much anything. Awesome. Well, we kind of touched on this question, but we, we might as well go ahead and talk about it again. Am I required to use your food and beverage? No, you are not. Very flexible food and beverage options. Yeah. You can bring caterers in, you can do it yourself. We don't um, have preferred caterers either. We do have a lot that have done many, many events in the space, not just wedding receptions. So um, they know the space, they know what they're doing when they come in. So it's kind of nice. Ooh. Awesome. Great question by uh, Kristen. Hey guys, are you able to reserve the day before for setup? Absolutely. So when you rent our building on like a Saturday or a Sunday or whatever, and you want to come in the day before to either rehearse or just decorate or kind of do your own thing, it is an additional charge of just 500 bucks for five hours. Get it all done and set up ready to go. Yep. You can Worth do your it. dinner. You can do all your decorating and set up everything. Awesome. Um, are the tables and chairs included with the facility? Yes. Both rounds and banquets at Heritage Hall are included. They are an extra charge for the rounds at Ag Hall, uh, which is $10, but they come with the Heritage Hall. Awesome. Um, when can I have access to the building? Depends on your package. If you use the all-day package, it's 8 a.m. 8 a.m. to midnight, your access time. We'll, we've got staff here, so you can come and go as you please. Um, you know, your caterer can come and set up, and you guys don't need to be here. 8 a.m., though. Perfect. Uh, Kristen said she's having her uh, wedding here next April. Yay! Awesome. We're excited to have you. Yay. Hopefully we're answering some of your questions. Um, all right. Are there any other additional questions uh, from those that are on the call that we can answer for you guys? I do have one thing I wanted to add. Um, our full day package rate does come with the line of demarcation. It's a Kansas 
state law that if we want alcohol outside, we gotta have it marked somehow. Uh, and it literally runs the entirety all the way around. You can kind of see the uh, that yellow uh, rope, chain link fence, I would like to call it. Um, but it's a good area. You can bring outdoor games. You know, you can set up a bonfire pit if you want. It's a good space for the guests to be outside even. Yeah. You can have the security of having an indoor venue, but also an outdoor ceremony, atmosphere, yes. which is always appreciated. Yeah. As we mentioned, plenty of parking. Let's see. <laughs> Sorry, I'm struggling with my paper right now. <laughs> oh, nice. <clears throat> All right, uh, Cindy's asking, have you ever done an outside wedding? Oh yes, many times, many times. Yeah. In fact, if you look at the um, Facebook event page, we just posted a picture of what the setup looks like for an outdoor ceremony. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, the reception. Um, I guess you can have the reception outside. I mean, it's kind of a... It's a, a two for one. You get the space. building with the gazebo, so yeah. you can do an outside ceremony and an outside reception, but still use the space for, you know, seating and eating and all that fun stuff. Awesome. Any other questions? I think we have answered most of them. Maybe all of them. Um, let's see. Well, we want to thank you guys so much for joining us for our first live virtual tour of Heritage Hall. Um, and if you guys want more information, you can go to our website at StormontValeEventCenter.com. Uh, hover over the Venues tab and click Weddings. There's all sorts, there's a whole list of FAQs and answers on that page, as well as um, seating setups. But of course, they're all customizable, so we'll do whatever, um, whatever you would like. Um, and there's some other information and some history about the venue. Yeah, well. What year was the uh, venue created? So uh, technically Heritage Hall and Ag Hall are the oldest buildings on property, early 1900s for both of them. They, awesome. Obviously Heritage uh, was enclosed at some point. It was an open air building with the arches and everything. So that's kind of fun. <laughs> Very cool. Yes, we are on the historic uh, Kansas Fairgrounds. Kansas Fairgrounds. The original Fairgrounds. Yeah. Yes, and this was one of the original buildings. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll give you one more look of the gazebo. Let's go ahead and show you what the view looks like yeah. from where you and your groom will be standing, <laughs> which is optional. You can stand wherever you want. So nice with the birds chirping. having you know big events and wedding receptions and they try to keep track of all of the grass and the dandelions and yep and we'll have beautiful flowers yes when it's not the front yep <laughs> kansas weather for you yeah. <laughs> but awesome thank you guys so much for joining us again if you have questions just reach out um and you can reach out to brie directly mm -hmm. she can help you check availability and uh and answer your questions. Yep. So thanks so much. Bye guys. Stay safe out there. <laughs>